Hello and welcome back to the series on custom NER for the purposes of digital humanities. In the last video, we started working with Holocaust specific data. So trying to generate uh, data or collect data so that we can start to train a custom model to recognize Holocaust domain specific entities. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a blank spacey model and add a custom pipeline to it for the purposes of using an NER to identify a custom label. And in this video, we're going to add the custom label of concentration camp. So we're going to do this the same way you might expect. We're going to import Spacey. That's going to be the main library that we work with throughout the rest of these videos in th this series. And if you're not comfortable with Spacey, go back and watch my earlier videos on Spacey. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to create an NLP object. Unlike the last videos where we loaded models or saved models with this NLP object, here we're going to be loading up a blank spacey model. So we're going to say spacey.blank and we're going to tell it one thing. We're going to say what language it's in. This is going to allow us to add uh, some basic customized or uh, some basic uh, spacey tokenization methods uh, based on the language. Now there's about seven or eight of these. Uh, and in this case, we're going to be just working with English texts. So we're going to say en for English. Now, if we were to run this script, nothing's going to happen because all we've done is created that blank model. There's nothing in there. We haven't even saved it to disk yet. So let's go ahead and just refresh our minds and try to put that model to the disk. So we're going to say nlp.toDisk and we're going to give it a name. In this case, we're going to say Holocaust NER. That's just going to be what we call our model in this series. So we're going to say Holocaust NER. And if you notice, it populated up here. And if you can't see that, I will pull it over here in the Explorer view so you can see it. We now have this Holocaust NER model right there. And if we open it up, it looks just like uh, what we would expect. It's got a vocab, it's got meta, it's got a tokenizer. These are standard things that would appear in a blank spacey model so that it can do some basic parsing. Now, we don't really have anything in there yet. We don't have any NER pipelines. We need to add them. But before we add them, we need to create them. So how do we do that? Well, it's not as difficult as it might seem. We're going to create a new object. This object is going to be called NER. This is the uh, way it's done in the documentation. It's the Pythonic way to do it. And that's going to be, uh, NER is going to be equal to NLP. So we're going to call that NLP object here. And we are going to say create pipe and we're going to create NER. That's going to tell Spacey to create an NER pipeline. And what it's doing here is it's going to its factories and it's identifying what NER actually is and what kind of classes and functions it needs to load uh, based on what this pipeline is. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to do custom pipelines that require custom factories. But right now, we're going to keep it simple and just create a NER pipeline that is already known as a factory in the Spacey library. But we have to do more than that. We could do something like this and say nlp.addPipe. And what we can do is we can say NER and we can tell it, give it even a custom name. We by passing the name keyword argument and we're going to use a string here and let's call it the conk camp NER. This is going to differentiate it it from other elements in our pipeline, which are going to be uh, a ghetto uh, NER that's going to identify ghettos and texts. For right now, we are just working on the concentration camp side of things. Were I to run this now, that spacey model is going to be replaced with a new spacey model. And if we look at it in here, we see everything looks the same, but when you go into the actual folder, you see that we have this conk camp NER in there. What this folder is, if you don't remember from my previous videos, this folder is a new pipe. So this means that it's going to be a new thing that is involved in the model's processing of the data. And we're going to we're going to see in a later video how to position these pipes in custom locations. For right now, just understand how to add the pipe or sorry, how to create the pipe and how to add it into the spacey model. And if we go to our meta if you remember from my video on under the hood of Spacey, you remember this meta file contains a lot of very, this little meta file inside the Spacey model contains a lot of very important information. Now we haven't assigned any of this metadata right now, such as description, author, email, URL, license, etc. We can do that later. 
This is going to be the only one that matters for right now, Spacey version 2.3.2. But if we scroll down, the thing that's really important that we'll notice now is that the pipeline has been added. We can see it right here. There is a pipeline conk underscore camp underscore NER. And if we notice that the factories, this is what um, it's a dictionary that tells Python or tells the spacey model how to understand what to do with that pipeline. So it knows that whenever it's, it's, it sees conk camp NER, the pipe that's conk camp NER, it knows to go to the NER factories. And what that's going to do is on the back end, it's going to be loading all the special classes and functions associated with named entity recognition. That way it knows what to do with this pipe. And if we go down here, and this is very important, we see that we have labels and we have a dictionary. Each of our pipes that are NERs are going to have a custom value, um, uh, sorry, key, and that's going to be the pipeline name. And its value is going to be the labels uh, as a list that correspond to that pipeline. That doesn't make a lot of sense right now, maybe, because we are looking at a blank, or blank list. But we can easily, easily correct that. I'm going to put this over here on the side and scroll down so you can follow along with what's kind of happening right now. When we go before the adding of the pipe and we say NER, it's important, NER dot add underscore label, we are going to add a custom label to that pipeline. And you should see in just a moment that populate there when we run this script now. And what it's done is it's gone in and recreated this model. However, it's added in this concentration camp label. So that's how you create a blank spacing model, create a blank NER pipeline, and add a custom label to it and save that NLP model. Now, right now, were I to load this model and try to run it, it's not going to be able to do anything. In the next video, we're going to start custom training this model with some of the uh, methodological things I introduced earlier in this series. So a little bit of it will be repetitive, but it'll have a new twist because it actually has a real world application from the ground up. So stick around in the next video and learn how to custom train this spacey model to recognize concentration camps in a text. Thank you for listening. And if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below.